Hello, my name is Sam Ederly. This is Common Enemy. I'm not having fun. Life is meaningless. Time is a flat circle. There is no beginning. There is no end. It's all a big pile of wasted hope, and we're sprinting on a stationary wheel. Or at least that is what everyone on the TV screen seems to be saying. Or people are saying about people on the TV screen, or the screen is saying to people about people that they're saying that. But to all those analysts and correspondents and experts, I say, even if we are sprinting on a stationary wheel, it still sounds like one hell of a workout. Sidebar. It is getting tough out there, folks. Yesterday, my sister and I went for a drive. Not to anywhere, not for anything. We just went for a drive. Because we hadn't left the house in over a week, and the thoughts were creeping in. You know, the thoughts. The, the, the thoughts we're not supposed to talk about. The how far could I punt my dog thoughts. The how hard would I have to throw this glass cup against that wall to shatter into a million pieces thoughts. The I can do anything right now. Anything. And my parents wouldn't kick me out. Like, we are in a global pandemic. How far could I actually stretch my parents' limits before they threw me out? Certainly farther than I've ever tried to go before. Thoughts. Okay, maybe that last one's just me. Probably not, though. You're at least thinking about it now. The point is, we went for a therapy drive. And as you can see, it did not help. Let's build some positive momentum here and get right into common enemy number four, the sneeze that never comes. I am not a fan of it. No, I am not. The sneeze that never comes is just like blue balls, except it's in your nose and it's not made up by horny eyes. This problem has plagued every sneezer that has ever lived, which statistically includes almost every person that has ever lived. I don't want to call anyone out, but there's some people that just can't sneeze. Look it up. I don't have to tell you everything. Sidebar. There are some superstitions when it comes to the number of sneezes you fire out in a single burst. You know what I'm talking about. There's a, a single sneeze, double sneeze, triple sneeze, the machine gun. Well, according to BeijingKids.com, which I now have bookmarked, each of these sneeze categories dictate a good or bad omen. One sneeze, someone is speaking ill of you. Two sneezes, you're being missed by someone. Three sneezes, someone is in love with you. And machine gun, you've probably caught a cold. You know what drives me crazy about these omens? I'm strictly a double sneezer. Not like I double sneeze more often than not. Like I only double sneeze. Probably 99% of the time. What does this mean? Am I always being missed by someone? Doubt it. Apparently no one's in love with me, so that's fun. At least no one is speaking ill of me. I bet most of you are single sneezers, so I wonder who's talking about you. Hmm. A sneeze can fire out of your nose at up to 100 miles per hour. Do you know how far that sneeze can travel? Think about it. Are you maybe thinking six feet because that is the distance we all be separated right now? Maybe you're thinking 10 feet. Well, according to the ever-reliable HuffPost, some researchers believe our mucus can land up to 30 feet away. I'm going to say that again. A sneeze can travel up to 30 feet away from the sneezer. Do you realize how far that is? That is the same length as about 24 bowling pins, three basketball hoops, or half a semi-truck. This is disgusting news for all of us, particularly people like me, that live in New York City, the moldy corner of the world. Sidebar. I have a question. What is the correct procedure when you have a little cold, sneeze into your arm and pull back to see that you have birthed a full egg yolk into your sleeve? It's embarrassing. And don't act like it's only me this has happened to, okay? I can't remember exactly what I did last time, but I feel like I washed my hands, bought a ticket out of the country, and never returned. At least pre-corona, we could laugh about this kind of thing. But what about post-corona? What kind of shame will be associated with a big sneeze? Let me say it another way. 
If you're at a party post-corona, would you rather piss your pants or sneeze an egg yolk sized booger into your sleeve? I honestly think it's a close race. The sneeze that never comes feels like purgatory or limbo or the living and breathing representation of the little spinning wheel of death. It just doesn't feel good and we need to get that sneeze out. So how do we get it out? There's a lot of weird tips and tricks on the internet. I don't buy 90% of them. In my experience, there are a few ways that can work. You can stare at the light. You can tickle the inside of your nose with a tissue or feather. Or you can pretend you're a dog and do those short little sniffs, you know, hoping to activate the sneezing reflex. All I know is you need to do everything in your power to get that sneeze out because there's nothing worse than going through the day with blue nose. Thank you.